Hi there Titans, and welcome to another Titan Academy video. Today, we'll be talking about how to embed your project as an iframe in your own personal website. We'll talk about publishing your project and getting the iframe or embed script for your website. We'll talk about device responsiveness and how your project will look depending on the device that the end user sees your project. And we'll talk about passing parameters from your parent site to the Titan project in your iframe. So first of all, I just want to mention that we can publish and distribute our Titan project in a number of different ways for our end user to see. We can publish it as an LWC or Lightning Web Component in Salesforce. We can, as I mentioned, embed your project in your own personal website. And we can also use a URL that, that will just host the project. So we have many different ways that you can show your Titan project. Today we're going to be focusing specifically on an iframe and embed in your personal website. One thing I want to show quickly is that I've configured a bunch of different devices here. We will have a separate video where we show how to configure all of these different devices. But for today, I just want to show you that I've configured each device and labeled each device size so that we can see which device size we get in our, in our iframe. Great. Now, I'm going to go ahead and publish my project. Once I publish my project, my project is live. And that means that anyone with the URL will be able to see my most recent updates on my project. Now, coming back here to Titan, I see that I first of all have the URL that again, I can distribute to whoever I want to be able to see my project or I can embed my project in a number of different ways. As an iframe, I can embed it, I can put it in Salesforce and in Salesforce communities. Today we'll just be talking about iframe and embed in a normal website. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this code for iframe. I'll copy this code and I'm going to head over to my WordPress website over here. And this will work for any website that you're working on. Here specifically, we're using WordPress, but again, it can be any website that allows you to embed. And I'm going to throw in the script into the HTML. Now, one important thing to note in this script is the width of the Titan project within your iframe. It's best practice to set the width as 100% as I'm doing right over here, the height will automatically calculate. You don't need to worry about the height, but for the width, we want to make sure that it's at 100%. Okay, this is all set for me, so I'm going to go ahead and preview this and see how it looks. And here's my Titan project. Now you can see the difference between where the iframe is and where the normal site is because I've colored my project to be blue. You can see that everything that's white is my parent site and everything that's blue is my Titan project. Now notice that I'm currently getting the desktop view of my Titan project. And that's because I'm using a desktop to view this site currently. Now I'm going to adjust the window size of this project so that we can see what happens with our Titan project in the iframe. So you can see that now that I've changed the size of my window, as I adjust its width, you can see the Titan project adjusting different device sizes. And I can go all the way down to see all the different device sizes that an end user might get when they interact with my iframe. Now, 
Now note again, we were able to see the difference because I reconfigured these different device types. And so these device types were shown when we previewed our iframe, depending on the size of our window. And so if someone entered our site from a mobile device, they would see a slightly different layout than they would see if they entered it from a desktop device. Now, the size of the device is dependent not on the size of my entire site, but on the size of my iframe itself. So if the size of my iframe fits within the size of laptop, then I will only see laptop. But if my iframe is smaller, then I might see a smaller device. Let's exit out of here. Now, I want to show what happens when we make changes to our project and the differences between saving and publishing. I'm going to go ahead and just change the color of the window on my project. And I'll change this to a pink color like that. I'm going to go ahead and just save this. And I can see it's saved. And if I preview it in my iframe, you'll notice my iframe is still blue. And that's because I've saved, but I have not yet published my changes. My saved changes will be reflected in preview. So if I preview this, I can see the changes. But because I have not published it, my iframe script has not been affected. Let's go ahead and publish this. And now we'll come to preview our iframe one more time. And we can see that now the changes are reflected. Now that we've shown how to use an iframe in your site, let's talk about embed and perhaps the differences between embed and iframe. Okay, so I have a variable on my project called variable from URL. And what I want to be able to do is pass a value from my parent site to this variable in Titan. This can be handy for tracking events or passing data to Titan to trigger some kind of action in Titan and many different use cases. And I'll show you the different ways we can do this depending on if we do iframe or use an embed script. I'm gonna go ahead and first of all, copy this. And I'll go ahead and click apply. Now I'll publish again. And I'll take our iframe script, make sure that that's what we have in here. And again, I'm gonna adjust the width to 100% and I'll preview it. Now, in the URL for this, I want to try to pass a value from the URL to my iframe. And I'll already tell you that this is not going to work because we have embedded this as an iframe. So I'll say var from URL equals Jordan. And I have logic set up to pass the value from this URL to this first name field over here. So I'll go ahead and hit enter. And you can see that Jordan is not appearing in first name. And that's because with an iframe script like this, we can't pass values directly from the URL into the iframe. If you want to use an iframe script and do such a thing, you would have to use post messages from your site to Titan. This is possible, and in a separate video, we'll show you how to do this. Today, we'll talk about how you can pass the value from the URL directly to your iframe by using embed script instead of iframe script. I'll go back to Titan, and this time I'm going to grab an embed script, and I'll go ahead and copy. I'll come back to WordPress and I'm going to paste in my embed script. 
And you can see the embed script looks different than our, our iframe script. I'll throw in 100% here. Now that I'm using an embed script, when I preview, I can add my variable to the URL and a value for my variable. And this will pass the value to my variable. And again, I've set up logic on my project to pass the value from the variable to this first name field. And now when I hit enter, you'll notice that it did populate my first name field. And that is because I'm using an embed script and with embed, I'm able to pass values from the parent URL into my iframe. All right, so to review what we've learned today, we've learned how to publish a project and get the iframe and embed script. We talked about device responsiveness and how that works in an iframe in your website. And we've talked about passing parameters from your parent site to your iframe and the differences when using an iframe or an embed script. Thanks for watching and good luck.